Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, like it or not, here at the Horde, eventually I'm going to have to start cutting grass. And if I have any hopes of doing that, one of these rigs need to start up. Actually, I kind of get bored cutting grass. So typically I like to have more than one mower ready to go. And some of you guys might remember this rig from uh, last year, the Cub Cadet Zero Turn, right? So, um, I did not treat this well for the winter. I um, kind of parked it up here. I think I used it for shredding leaves by the looks of the crap hanging out underneath it there. And I kind of parked it and got busy and then so here she sits. What I've done is, obviously, I check the oil because if you don't do that, you must not mind paying for expensive engines. And um, I'm going to give it a Huda starting fluid. I got my jump pack on it because the battery's dead, and I got my capacitive jump pack on it, too. So it should have plenty of amps for starting. Can't have too much starting fluid, right? That way, if it explodes, it makes a better video. Um, let's see. Choke. I guess you pull up. So, looks like she's choked. Let's give it a little engine speed. And I think at this point, I just need to turn the key. I haven't driven this in a year, so please excuse any crashes. We'll take it nice and slow. I'm going to bring it down to the driveway. I got to pressure wash it, check the oil, do all those wonderful things. Yeah, I'm driving it one handed. Old one handed Harvey. Boy, I got to tell you, one has to love these Kawasaki's. I mean, that fired right up. Also happy with this. Uh, seems to be going nice. I'm not going to drive it any more than down to the driveway because I don't know if a mouse took up residence, and I'd rather not blow this engine up. Obviously, it's full of oil. So that won't cause me a problem. But if a mouse took up residence um, and it's uh, not allowing the engine to cool properly, that could also blow it up. And I'd rather not do that. One has to love a zero turn. Yeah, this thing has a monster Kawasaki on it. It's a V-twin. I think it's 27 horsepower or something like that. When I got it, the exhaust system was off it, completely off. So um, what I did is I just put a muffler in each um, each exhaust port, so to speak. Um, and that seemed to work beautifully. Yeah, it appears to be charging the battery. It didn't just run on the battery to get here. 
so there it is um i this tire's a little low on air so i could put air in it um it's a 50 inch cut i guess it's known as a r a cub cadet rzt 50 i think that's what it's known as I've been happy with it. Um, it cuts grass beautifully. I really would recommend if anybody's considering buying one of these, I would recommend it. I've, uh, it's, um, it does a nice job. And once again, I bought it with 550 hours on it. Um, I don't recommend treating it like I did. It shouldn't. When you're done with it at the end of the season, if you uh, if you want it to last. What you should really do is uh, keep it in a nice dry spot without mice, you know, get the weight off the tires, you know, kind of support the four corners there, and, um, and the unit will last a lot longer. Um, yeah, this was part of a, um, a couple of golf carts and uh, a motor and a few other things. I traded a, a kid for it. Um, he drove all the way out from, I think he was from Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, if I'm recalling right. So I, it was a good deal. It treated me well last year, and it looks like it's going to treat me well again this year. Um, for those of you who remember I got it, this axle was broken. I... Um, I put the ag I welded the axle back together again. I was very careful to I'm going to use the word uh, jig or fixture it so it it was square and straight and all those those great things. Um, and I not only um, re-welded it, I um, reinforced it so it's on there. I also got a deal on one. I think it was less than a hundred bucks or around a hundred bucks. 75 bucks delivered something like that um, so I have a spare front axle I, I guess it's kind of common that people break the front axle on these things um, but anyway cool machine if anybody has a chance to get one especially at the right price I recommend it um, cuts grass fast this probably um, is the fastest for my lawn is the fastest cutting machine um, it's faster uh, for just straight cutting where you don't have to turn or go around any bushes. It's also faster for going around bushes. Um, so all, all in all, it's, it's quite a bit quicker than the Kubota or the Murray or definitely a lot quicker than the John Deere. The John Deere only does uh, 38 inches at a time. It also does a really good job. I guess it's got three blades, and it, um, they did a good job on the deck. So it, it does a real nice job for me. So I would recommend one of these. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.